what is going on guys this is Joey I'm coming at you another video today today I'm gonna to be covering uh, this week's update on the aquariums on a couple updates ago I talked about uh, possibly removing driftwood on the discus tank so I can free up some room because they were kind of running into the pieces and injuring themselves occasionally so this week I actually ended up removing the big piece from the aquarium and just kind of like freeing you know any chance of them running into it I did keep up one of the driftwood I kind of leaned all the way up and out of the tank so that they can probably lay eggs on it or move their fry to it. I also threw in a cone for them just in case if they wanted to spawn somewhere else other than just the tubing, the, the actual filter tubing that they've always been doing it on. Um, eventually this tank's going to be converted into a low tech tank anyways. So all the plants in there will obviously probably get moved to some other tank or just get pulled. I'll probably just end up using a couple other different plants. Uh, I did have some jungle valve on the side there. I'll probably grow those tall on the back to, to keep it pretty nice. And then some other plants as low tech. And then moving on to the fish room. Um, this video is going to pretty much cover uh, the fish room because, again, a lot of updates and a lot of things are going on as the project is almost coming into completion. Um, and you guys are probably interested in you know what I'm going to be stocking and what I'm going to be putting in there anyways So I'm going to be updating you know the next couple videos mainly on, on that And if I get anything interesting on the other tanks I'll kind of mention it here and there and so far the other tanks are kind of just running as is and really not much to update I do have um, a couple new species or new fish that are being in quarantine right now in some of those tanks And I'll talk about them probably in the next couple videos because I uh, don't really like to you know say oh you know I got this fish and it's in quarantine and then you know I show it and then it dies from quarantine and dies from something else so you guys will see it uh, once it's out of quarantine and probably in like I said in a couple videos down the road all right so, so let's start with the blue rack the blue rack is probably the most completed rack that I have currently so far so on the previous video I pretty much had you know the whole tank tested for water leaks everything passed tested for piping leaks, you know, I glued and finished up all the leaks that I had. And once I drained the tank, I wiped it down really clean, let it dry for, for a couple hours, and then what I did was I started adding substrate. So this time around, I want to try something a little different, and I ended up using a Miracle Mud. Uh, Miracle Mud is pretty much substrate for Planet Reef tanks. And I did two bags per tanks, and Miracle Mud isn't cheap, by the way. Um, so that was kind of uh, pricey, but I, I did a really thin layer of Miracle Mud on three of the tanks. So two bags each, that's six bags, and then of 10 pounds, by the way. So it's 20 pounds. And then I went with Bahama, um, I think, Live Sand, um, and I initially bought four bags, which was a mistake. So I put two bags in one of the tank, and I realized I probably needed three bags because I wanted like maybe an inch and a half to two inch of substrate height in the tank and um, yeah I was really short in terms of live sand so I ended up putting uh, two bags in one tank two bags in another tank and I had to order more as I was dumping in the last two bags of sand into the tank realizing that you know I don't have enough sand to fill up you know any of the tanks uh, I kind of just dumped it on one spot and it formed a really cool sand castle I just kept it there while I was filling up the water and I'll probably end up um, flattening it at the end but I thought it was pretty cool that it built a freaking awesome sand castle for me. So I ended up having to order five more bags which is ridiculous uh, and that's only to cover three tanks because the fourth tank I kind of want to leave it bare bottom and just to kind of grow frags trying to grow like random stuff and you'll see kind of the setup um, as you it progresses. So I ended up having to order more sand and it's not going to come until next week, uh, early next week. So uh, knowing me, I was kind of impatient, so I started filling the tanks because filling the tanks of RO water and making it takes a very long time. So it ended up taking four days to fill up uh, 220 gallons worth of RO water in the whole system there. And all I did was basically, you know, once I got home from work, I did like maybe three to four hours of just straight RO to the system shut it off as it got dark and then the next day did the same thing until the tank was pretty much full. So once the tank was filled with RODI water, um, I added in dried Fuji rocks um, to start cycling the tank. Started adding in salt so that I can bring up the parameters to the right salinity. Um, I kind of um, underestimated the salt because I still have to put in the five bags of 
um, sand and eventually that's going to raise the water levels. I'm going to have to drain it anyways. I'm going to be wasting salt. So I'm going to wait until I get all the sand before I kind of fine tune, I guess, the salinity levels. It's on the lower end right now, but it's still going to need to be able to cycle. So while the tank was cycling and, you know, running its course, um, I went ahead and added lids to the tank. All I did was I went to Home Depot and I grabbed the greenhouse clear roofing lids and I cut it to, you know, the same size, shape, um, cut the holes for the piping to fit in between. And, you know, it took about, you know, an hour or so to cut, you know, the pieces to the right size, but in the end, it looks really nice. So hopefully these lids will help with the evaporation and just water getting kicked out of the tank and hopefully it can keep most of that water in the tank. So the blue rack is pretty much good to go right now. It's just literally just running right now. The only thing I have to add last to this tank is the light. And I actually ended up hooking up the light, um, but I don't have them on any timers or anything yet like that. So once I kind of play with that and figure out, you know, the schedule for them, I'll hook them up and I'll turn them on and I'll show you guys on probably the next update. And then a quick update on the green rack. The green rack on the previous video was all done in terms of plumbing. The only thing I was waiting on was the pump and I still am waiting on the pump. I actually ended up calling uh, Ecotech to figure out if they're just backed order or something's wrong with their you know products where everything is sold out. And they said they're on back order right now and they should get some in soon. So I don't know what soon means, but hopefully, you know, it's in the next couple weeks here. So I'm going to actually order the pump. Literally, if you go Google it, like every major store has it like sold out and you can't even find them used online. So um, it's a waiting game for that. And I can't really run the system without that pump. I could go with a different pump, but I wanted to use this pump because everything is going to be powered and controlled by the reef length and it's just gonna be way easier if it's under Ecotech. The last video you kind of saw me filling up the green rack with water. The water test definitely passed. It still has water right now in it. Um, I am debating if I want to drain it so that I can put in the substrate and then refill it or should I wait till the pump comes in, run it for a couple of days with the water in it so that I can you know check for piping leaks or you know do that with the substrate in it and just kind of save the time there. So I think I'm going to probably drain it so I can drop the substrate in there, fill it back up with water and wait till the pump comes in and do a, a leak test on the fly kind of thing with this, you know, with everything in the tank. I normally don't do that, but it's just um, because I don't know when this pump's gonna come in and I'd rather save time in terms of cycling and whatnot doing this. So I'll probably end up doing that and then uh, we'll see uh, when the pump actually comes in for this tank. I was also able to cut lids um, on these racks as well. I didn't get any footage of it, but um, you know, it's all set there. So really waiting on the pump and just hooking up the pump so that the system can run for the water test on the pipe. All right guys, and that's the update for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the update for the week. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you guys haven't hit the notification button, make sure you guys do. It will give you guys update on when I post videos and any other random updates I might have down the road. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys leave it in the comments below. And until next time, guys, peace.